Swamiji. Very good. Uh, Swamiji, I was getting a lot of questions regarding um, free will and destiny. So it's like a forever question, you know. And everybody wants to know whether do we really have a free will? Do we have any control over the things? Or is everything pre-planned according to the cosmic supreme will? I asked the same question to my guru. Okay. And I asked him exactly these words. Is there really free will? free will? And he said, I'm not answering it to you. <laughs> so I said, but why am I asking a sincere question? He says, when you say, is there really a free will? Which means you've come to the conclusion that there is no free will. Then why are you asking a question? <laughs> so uh, this whole matter of free will and destiny has been an eternal question of people. But since we've got an intellect, we have got a choice, which means it gives us a certain amount of free will to make a difference in our life. life. Otherwise, then what is to happen is going to happen right. and you don't do anything about it. Then the next question will be, well, if I'm doing something bad, it happened, what have I got to do it with? Why am I bearing the consequences? Right. So we see an eternal law of action and reaction. So what we see today as our destiny is the result of our own past actions. Past action doesn't mean only past life. It's just that we don't remember or we do not know what is the result of which action because we don't have the knowledge of it. Right. We say why we don't have the knowledge is our fault. We've not taken into study this and uh, gain this understanding right so our destiny is the result of our past action like if i have exercised regularly during my youth days today i have got strong muscles even at old age to right. face or do work now if somebody has not done it and they say why am i weak so destiny is not only the wrong things that are happening in your life also, we have to understand the good things happening in our life. The destiny is the result of our own past actions which are bearing fruit today. And we've been given a certain choice to understand the present situation and do our best in the situation to influence our future destiny. That is where self-effort comes in. So destiny is coming to us. What you meet from your past is your destiny. What you do with it is your self-effort, which makes your future destiny. Okay. So we have some um, free will in how we react yes. to the situations with the destiny that is happening to us. And rather not react, but act. Act, right. Because that will describe the future. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Swamiji. Um, another question which I had was regarding um, a lot of people today are getting aware about and getting enthusiastic about our Indian culture and philosophy. And they do want to learn and start our scripture. But just the sheer vastness of the scripture is so overwhelming and confusing that today if somebody wants to begin their studies, they don't know where to start from. So if you can address that. You see, in our Vedanta Parampara, there is very, very clear on a systematic introduction and understanding of the knowledge of knowing oneself. So we can take that systematic. Chinmaya Mission provides that. So no doubt we have got a library of scriptures mm -hmm. for people at all different levels of their growth. To start off, I would suggest if people have access and it's online available, if we have access and we can order Order Manual of Self-Unfoldment by Swami Chinmayananda. It gives all these themes that we want to know about destiny, self-effort, what is love, what is God, is there God, you know? understanding of cause and effect, all there. Start with that. It's not about this one's book or that one's book. It gives you a complete knowledge of the entire spiritual knowledge in simple contemporary language. 
Thank you so much. Because a lot of people, when I create content online on yeah. Indian philosophy, they constantly ask me, which is, can you tell me one book where to start from? Start with Manual of Self Unfoldment. Yes. And they say one scripture to study. Yes. And they say, oh, it's difficult. So there is introductory scriptures to study. But Bhagavad Gita is a complete scripture that takes us from the, the lowest condition of our mind mm. to the highest enlightenment. So therefore, it caters to all levels of our growth right? and whichever level we are. So that is one scripture to study. Now, in this scripture, it doesn't belong to this religion, that religion that people get afraid of. Oh, if I study the Bhagavad Gita, then you know, it is about me. These religious divisions that have been created by various people, it is the science of knowledge. Uh, I mean, the science based on knowledge, spiritual science based on knowledge. And therefore, it applies to everybody. So one scripture, don't go and study that, I have to study the Upanishads also. And then there are so many works of so many saints and sages, whichever. You can identify with, you start and make a deep study of it. But if you can read Manual of Self Unfoldment, you will get an idea of how to study any scripture. Wonderful. Thank you for your suggestion, seriously, Swamiji.